on the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated that he said, I forbid myself from telling you many of the prophetic sayings because the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi said, whoever deliberately attributes lies to me, he should have a place in the hellfire. Yes, Anas is one of the closest companions of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When Prophet Muhammad وسلم, migrated to Medina, he was a little boy. His mom took him to Prophet. I give you this boy to be with you, to serve you, to do whatever you want him to do, for you to literally raise him up. So. Anas doesn't know anyone but Prophet Muhammad. He stayed with Prophet Muhammad the 10 years the Prophet وسلم, stayed in Medina. He, that's why he said, I've served Prophet Muhammad وسلم, for 10 years, <clears throat> but he's never told me, why did you do so and so, or why didn't you do so and so? That's how kind Prophet Muhammad was. Meaning he never blamed me for anything I was supposed to do and I didn't, or for anything I wasn't supposed to do and I did. So you can see two things there. One is how great in quality the Prophet was, but how much also, how good also the Prophet raised him to the extent that maybe he wouldn't do something that would be blamable. So and because he stayed with the Prophet for 10 years, he memorized a lot from the Prophet But to avoid saying something that the prophet said and he didn't he didn't want to talk much about what he heard because he didn't want to take the risk to make a mistake that the prophet said so and so and he didn't so that's how the they they, they were so um careful and that's why whenever they said i heard the prophet said so and so they would say it exactly how they heard it, but at the end they would say, oh, come on, or as he said. Just in case they made a mistake with a slight, right. you know, uh, word or anything. Oh, come on, or, or as he said, to be in the safe part, right. to not take the risk that the prophet. Nowadays I would say, oh, prophet said it, this and this, and me, I wasn't there. <laughs> These are the ones who were there, yet they were very careful when they talked about the prophet Elijah. Keep going. Well, well, not to go off, mm. um, keep to the ten years. Go ahead. But what I've learned from being in the house of Christians, mm -hmm. they were saying the same thing that you know, if if in fact you take the words of Christ, mm -hmm. that will cause now as a Muslim to say that's the reason why he got to come back mm -hmm. because now y'all been taking his words mm -hmm. and saying that he said it and he didn't. And say it. now he got to come back mm -hmm. and to correct himself. that. Yep. 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 Allah be pleased with us. Amen. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, Elijah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mm -hmm. Al Mugari. Got said. May Allah be pleased with him. Narrated that he heard the messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, saying, "Lying on me." is not lying on anyone. He, he whoever deliberately, deliberately tells lies against me, he should have a place in the hellfire. MashaAllah. So, but we really, we always want to have the, at the end of the hadith, quote, tell us the, because he would tell you where he quoted the hadith from. Look what is at the end of the hadith. No. I know, no. At the end of the hadith, there is the book from which the hadith is. Mention it. It is there. At the end of the hadith, what did you see? Okay. Let me have the book. No, no, no. It's here. It's here. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. I just... 
This is where it's Yeah, this is here, Muslim. 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 Oh, Muslim. Okay. Muslim is a book of hadith. So I'm thinking it's referring to us. Yeah, but no, it's a Muslim is where the hadith is found. So this is to tell you that whenever they mention so and so was said by the Prophet, they will tell you right at the end where it is. This is Islam. You cannot just say the Prophet said so and so without so Muslim, as I told you earlier, Muslim is the second most important book of hadith after Bukhari. Wow. So so in this hadith of Prophet is saying that is the first one, yes, Bukhari is the first most authentic, and Muslim himself is a is is a char, is a okay. Muslim himself is a student to Bukhari. All right, he was a student of Imam Bukhari. His book is very organized. It is the most authentic book after the book of Imam Bukhari when it comes to hadith. So whenever you read a hadith, that circle you see right after is the reference of the book where you will find the hadith. And if you go to Muslim, you will find the whole narration of the hadith. So, and whenever you find the narration, in that narration, the people who are mentioned in that narration, we know all of them. We know the story, the, the history and the life biography and uh, of all those people. Anyone who said the prophet said so and so, his life is documented. So no one can lie about the prophet sallallahu now. Any hadith that you ever heard that the prophet said, you can verify whether he said it. That's why the most documented personality in history is Prophet Muhammad. Nothing about him is private. Everything is known. Everything. So anything that you hear attributed to Prophet Muhammad, you can verify whether he said it or no. All right? So for you to not be in such trouble, you want to go through into the books that you know there is nothing in them but authentic hadith of the Prophet. And one of them is the book you are holding now, Bukhari, and another one is Muslim. Okay? So, before we go through to the book, the one who has abridged this book of Bukhari is the one who's bringing us this ahadith to show us how serious attributing to Prophet Muhammad something is. Because if I say a lie about you, I have sinned because I lied and not, I'm not supposed to. But if I say a lie about the Prophet Islam, it's more dangerous because I am making legislation. Because it has to do, whatever the Prophet Islam says is law. Whatever he says, Allah says, it's from me. So you cannot uh, compare lying about him to or with lying about or from or regarding anyone else. So that's why he says, lying about me is not lying about anyone else. So whoever lies about me, he should interfere. That's scary. Well, scary. That means, you know, take it to the street. You can't be freestyle. <laughs> good, good. Freestyle. Mm -hmm. Fire, wait. <laughs> okay, keep, keep going, Elijah. Here, right Abu Harua. Huraira. Huraira. Mm -hmm. May Allah be pleased with him, mm -hmm. narrated that the Messenger of Allah mm -hmm. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, It will be sufficient for the person to be considered as liar when he tells all what he hears, Muslim. Yes. Meaning, if you see a, a person that whatever he hears, before he rests, he's going to have to say that to someone else, say, not only like making up, but if you want to say everything you hear, that means you're a liar. Right. Someone who cannot, you know, hold, uh, you know, yeah. he hears something, he's got to come to you or to someone else and say, he, I mean, that is the beginning of, 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 of lying. And, and it is sufficient, he said, for a person to lie, to be a liar, that a person, you know, tells everything he hears, yeah. you know. So if one has the habit to say or to tell everything he hears, 
once the day he's he has nothing to say, maybe he's going to make up something <laughs> because he has the habit to <laughs> people are listening. You know, when you are watching the TV, they all every day they bring something new. If they don't have anything new, maybe they make up something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because they don't want to lose the audience. Yes, sir. And that particular hadith. That if you say all what you hear, for a person to say all what he heard from his ear, that person is a liar. Now, I just want to just see the farm to, because there are some things that, oh, Somebody says something about you. Mm -hmm. But if I tell you, I will remove. At times, I remove mm -hmm. where he says something bad about you. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, that's worse no. than lying. That's what that's called a namima. 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 A person who does that, the prophet says, will not enter Jannah. Uh, you know, when you when you hear things you when you say things you hear that has nothing to do with others, I mean that can cause you to become a liar. But when you hear Latif, for example, say something about Elijah, and you know if you tell Elijah, he's not gonna like it. That's called Namima. Namima, I heard that before. Yeah, Namima, No, that's 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 worse than even backbiting. Because when I backbite, I am just talking about Elijah for something about Elijah, something that if he heard, he wouldn't like it, even if it is true. Right. But that has to do with Elijah. Right. But if I say something that I heard Latif talk saying about Elijah to Elijah, and I know that could you know, harm the relationship, yes. that is called the Namima. And the prophet said, Layat khulul jannata namma. If one doesn't say it at all, doesn't even mention anything. That's called the buhtan. Oh, wow. You know, that's the buhtan. For example, so Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to the Sahaba, do you know what backbiting bite, is? They said, Allah and his messenger knows best. He said, is that you mention about your brother? You mention something about your brother that if he heard, he wouldn't like it. A person said, what? If what I'm saying is true, he said that's backbiting. For what if what you are saying is not true? That's buhtan. Buhtan. You know, you have made him do or say something he didn't do or say. That's even worse. That's even worse. You know. So, uh, Hassan al Basri, one person came to him and said. Did you hear what so and so said about say about you? If it was me, I would tell you, well, what did he say? Hassan al Basri he didn't say to him, what did he say? He told him, Where did you hear him saying anything, something about me? Did he come to your house? Or you went to his house? The man said, Well, I went to his house. Why? He invited me. For what? For food, he organized a big party. How many types of food did you eat there? I mean, I ate about eight types of food. You ate eight type of food, eight type of food you can hold it in your belly. A word you heard about me cannot, can, you cannot hold it. Get out of my house. I see. You ate eight, eight, eight types of food at his home, and you you kept that. So one word you heard about me, you cannot keep it. Get out. We gotta be careful with this thing. Okay. So, and it was and it was and it was it was narrated that a person. <laughs> so 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 a person came to him and said. He said, Imam, I heard you backbite hit me. He said, I like you. I love you so much, but not to that extent. Mm -hmm. What do you mean to that? Not to that extent. He said, you know, your good deeds are your capital. And if I backbite you, all my good deeds will be taken from me and be given to you, the reward. I love you, but I don't love you to the extent that I will give you my capital. 
So I'm not gonna bite bite you. Keep going, Elijah. <laughs> no, we have to be here to tell it well. It's too much, man. Too much what? You sit down and shit. The death, the death, and this is what he's saying. He's what's going on. Huh? You have to be. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, he knows. He knows. Yeah, he knows yeah. he's trying to make us yeah, yeah. feel it. Yeah, okay. He's a good teacher, Elijah. Yeah, teacher. Keep this going. Mm -hmm. Warning against narrating from the weak narrators. Mm hmm. Abu Harur. Huraira. May Allah be pleased with him. Mm -hmm. Narrated that the Messenger of Allah so Allah 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 Allah. Mm -hmm. said, There will come at the end of times some people from amongst my nation who will tell you what you did not or your forefathers heard about before Muslims. Muslim. Muslim. Okay, Muslim. So, hmm? no, no, he says, uh, the Prophet said, there will be a people, the end of time, coming to tell us about, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. tell us about that the Prophet said so and so, or, you know, it was said so and so, something that we or our forefathers have never heard, meaning that people will come and fabricate things and attribute with them to the Prophet Sallallahu for us. So we, this type of people, we call them weak narrators. Yes, because in Hadith, there are five uh, criteria, five conditions for a Hadith to be um, accepted. One of them is that the narrator is um, a person of integrity, adl, a person who doesn't lie. A person who does not do things that are forbidden by Allah Ta'ala. A man of integrity. And the person also has to have what he calls dhabt, meaning he has to have a good memory. He memorizes what he hears, and he really, and when he writes, he knows that what he's writing is as authentic as where it was taken from, where it come from. So dhabt and 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 health or or and adala, which is integrity, are conditions. And it is alu sanat. It is alu sanat means that means that the chain of narrations goes back to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So when you hear read any book, any hadith from the hadith book of books of hadith such as Bukhari and Muslim, you will see that they put you the chain from them to the Prophet In some books, you will find among the people in the chain who are weak, meaning those who are known to lie, or those who are known to forget a lot, or those who brought a hadith that has to be called shuzuz or illa, that is problem in the text. Maybe they narrated a text, but the, what they have in that text is different from all those who have more integrity or who have more um, knowledge about the hadith or who have the same. So if we, all of us hear you reading, and when we leave, I say, I heard Elijah said so and so, and all of them said otherwise, that means I'm the one who made a mistake. So all these criteria, are, all these conditions are to be found in a hadith for a hadith. Yes, if these five conditions do not, uh, if the hadith does not meet these five requirements or these five conditions, it's called a weak hadith. And whoever brings that hadith, he is among the weak narrators, you know? And the weak narrators have levels, you know? Some of them, we call them fabricators. We don't look any of their hadith and some of them, and some of them, and some of them. All you need to take is a hadith that is authentic, you know? So, and someone that is telling us something that have never, ha, has never been heard, that means he's fabricating, he's, it's, not, it's not what the Prophet Sallallahu says. So he is warning us against the weak narrators. How many hadiths do you have left? That's the last one? No, we have in, in, no, no, and, uh, that's the last one in, tw in page 12 or no? 
No, it says saying five. Okay. Uh, is is there uh, is there another hadith on page twelve? No. Not okay. What's the time now? Okay. 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 Okay.